Hello everyone and welcome to this video. This video is about a two channel uh, book converter uh, USB power supply thing. Um, this was given to me by IC Station for free. Um, and I'm going to put the link in the description for any of you who are interested in, in getting one. Uh, but in this video I'm just going to you know, talk about it, see what it is, stuff like that. So we'll start here in the, uh, the listing. 2 channel QC2, QC3, SCP, AFC, LED, digital display, book converter, 2 USB, DC to DC, step down, power supply, module 5 volts, 5 amps. <gasps> okay, so. Um, right, so, you know, you know, what is it? So it's 2 channel, so it's 2 USBs. SCP, I don't know what that is. AFC, I'm not sure what that is. LED digital display. Right, so that's obviously this thing here. Which shows the voltage, the presumably the input voltage, because the out, output voltage should always be five volts. Book converter. So book converter is a step down uh, converter. So presumably you could supply this with six volts, nine volts, twelve volts. You know the, the sort of uh, the sort of thing. Uh, two USB DC to DC. Yeah. So it steps down from something to five volts, and it lets you draw up to five amps. Presume. Yeah. It's got to be up to, hasn't it? So you can see a picture there with the two coils, a load of capacitors, the sockets, an input DC jack, and there's the output. And it has like a uh, acrylic case. My acrylic case is actually broken. The bottom one comes snapped. I'm not sure why, but maybe someone stepped on it or something. But it does work. I'm going to show you in a minute. So what else can we get from this? It has anti-reverse protection over current protection. Okay. Anti reverse protection over current high efficiency. Now, high efficiency, it would be interesting to know how efficient it actually is. Um, it, it will depend on how close the input voltage is to the output voltage, I imagine. Yeah. Support multiple devices used at the same time. Yeah, two. Stable output. Okay, two wiring method. Oh, that is interesting. Support fast charger, DCP, QC2, QC3, blah, 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 blah. Support fast chart. Right, okay, that's interesting as well. That implies that the data lines of the USB device can actually talk to it and do something, which is very interesting. I don't know anything about that. Open circuit protection. Oh, output open circuit protection. Okay. Uh, here we go. So where's the working voltage? 6 volts to 32 volts. Okay, so you can supply it with 32 volts. So so what could you use this for? You could use it for um, like, oh, you know that micro off-grid solar panel uh, video that I did, was it yesterday or the day before or something? You could use it with that because that's a 12 volt thing, potentially 12 to 14 volts. So it would be ideal for that if I wanted to power an Arduino or a phone or whatever. Output voltage, oh. <clears throat> now that is interesting. Output voltage 5 volts, 9 volts, or 12 volts, automatic identification. Hmm. Now that is interesting. I'll have to look at that in a minute. Okay. Work efficiency 95%. That will depend on the input and output voltages, I imagine. Work temperature, they always write, yep. Yeah, humidity, blah, blah, blah. If you're using a battery... The fully charged voltage must not be higher than the module's maximum input voltage, which is 30, 32 volts. Fully charged voltage must not be higher. Okay, yeah. So connect input power from the socket or terminal. Socket or the terminal. I'll have to have a look at that in a second as well. Connect the USB device. Application a power bank. Oh, yeah, that would be a good one. Mobile phone charger, presumably. Tablet charger, recorder. Recorder, what does it mean by that? And so there's the device and the sizes. Okay, so I think it's about time to actually look at it on, on the camera now. But anyway, it says here uh, $9, which I think is that about six or seven pounds uh, GDP uh, not GDP GBP Great British pounds hmm okay okay so here's the product 
and you can see it's got a really shiny nice cover so like I said in the uh, in the other part of the video my one arrived broken but not to worry it's still very good quality anyway so uh, what have we got oh my hands I've got grip fill on my hands and I'll have to scrub it off later it's not like I haven't washed my hands it's that this stuff needs scratching off anyway um, so you get this uh, thing that comes with it this, this little jack and the uh, black and red wire there and so we've got the display and that's the uh, input voltage we've got presumably two input capacitors some diodes a chip which has been scrubbed so you don't know what it is then presumably these are for each USB so we've got a coil and a chip a coil a chip two capacitors each presumably they're out well they will be output capacitors and we've got the socket and we've got a diode an LED on each side here probably to indicate something like charging charged or well then maybe not maybe it's just a generic power supply I'm not too sure so um, you also have this here as well if you want to solder the input contacts in place instead of using the socket okay so now it's time to power it up so I've given it 9 volts now if I give it 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 all the way up to 35 it should still convert it down to 5 volts so we'll just check this before I uh, plug my phone in let me just check this. So we've all right. What have we got here? So the two outer pins are the are the voltage ones, and the two inner pins are the data pins. So yeah, five point one volts. Perfect. Five point one volts. I might as well. Well, the other one's not going to be any different, but let's just check anyway. Five point one one. So. That's fine. Now, um, I could actually put this up or down. Look, twelve point six, thirteen, thirteen point five, thirteen point four, etc. And it should still output five volts, which is quite cool. So these protocols here, whatever they are, DCP, QC, QC, blah 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 blah. Presumably, this QC and all this, presumably that's quick charge, and these are all the different charging protocols. So if I was to connect a phone such as this, presumably the phone would negotiate a charging protocol or a charging amount of current or something based on a, pr a protocol. And the two data pins that I spoke of, they will probably negotiate well via those two pins and this would uh, work with it. And presumably these chips um, work with the device in question and deliver whatever current it needs. So. I don't really understand it fully, but presumably that's how it works. So, um, let's just try it out, I suppose. I suppose that's what we should do. So, plug that in there. <coughs> and plug this in here. And instantly, the PSU, my power supply, is drawing, well, delivering, 450 milliamps at 13 volts. I'm just going to put that up. Yeah, if I put it up to 18 volts now, 18 volts, it's drawing 340. Now, if I put it back down, put it back down, I think I'm right in saying that it should become a little bit more efficient, but anyway, let's put it down. So it starts to creep up to one amp. So I believe this is uh, this phone is drawing one amp at five volts. Um, so let me just put it down a little bit more. Yeah, it seems that way because right now it's draw at at six volts. It's drawing eight hundred and fifty milliamps. So yeah, it sounds about right. So it's charging perfectly fine. Now let's add something else. Now I've got I haven't got another thing for it to charge, but. Well, I would, I could if I looked around properly, um, probably. But let's power an Arduino and see what it does. So there's the Arduino powered without any problems, and you can see the lights glowing there. So that's fine. So yeah, um, all in all, it seems quite cool. So you could probably use it for an application such as uh, a car, maybe you to plug this into a cigarette lighter or maybe even to the battery that would work 
uh, work properly. It's basically a, like a glorified DC to DC book converter with charger. That's the way I'm seeing it anyway. An intelligent charger sort of thing for devices. Like I said before, uh, I could actually use it for my micro uh, solar power plant thing as well. If I was to connect this to the battery, uh, I could then power devices off it. Arduino, phones, stuff like that. Up to 5 amps. Uh, which is which is good. I mean, that's sufficient for for five devices, really, let alone two. However, two at two and a half amps. That's for like tablets or something like that. So you could have two tablets. So if I had a car battery, for example, and I had two children who had tablets each, <laughs> and uh, I could plug a tablet into each, and uh, it would charge them properly. Anyway, so that's this device. Let me just. Uh, Turn it off. There it is. As usual, thanks for watching. Bye.